Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Necromanticer, and today we're going to be continuing on with our Prison Architect Let's Play. It seems that Phoenix got quite a few things done, we've got these cells over here completing. It doesn't look like he set up doors, but we're also running into a little bit of a problem here with the utilities. Anytime that the uh, game has a plus sign with the walls, as you can see here, the maintenance workers can't actually reach that center point, and so you have to either build the lines before you place down the walls for the actual cells themselves, or you have to actually build around. So I think that's just what we're going to do right now. As you can see, we've still got a, quite a lot of plans for extra buildings, and right now we're a little bit overloaded on prisoners, so I'm definitely going to want to get this next cell block up and running as soon as possible. Will that actually demolish that wall? I I think it may. Let me let me make sure that this just works nicely and I don't have to worry about that. There we go. I would also like to set up an indoor storage and start making these showers all prepared. I don't think we need to expand the common room just yet, but we're going to want to set those up here and here when we have the time. And then we've got to make sure there are doors for all these locations. The storage is going to be staff only, so let's set up a staff door right there. Same can be said of the armory and kennel. We really don't want prisoners getting there. So just to be extra certain, let's actually... Ooh. I'm going to want to change the deployment of the armory to be staff only. But I can't quite do that just yet because the door hasn't been installed. So we've kind of got to wait for that. It would seem that we're actually running kind of low on guards who are free for regular daily activities. So let's hire a few more of them. And as it says on our grants, we're also going to want some dog handlers and some armed guards in order to get that. So let's hire a pair of each of those. I'm probably going to want to fire the armed guards right away because they actively suppress inmates, which can lead to horrible, horrible things such as a higher reoffending rate and lower engagement in active, like, reform programs. So, generally speaking, you don't want to have these guys set up for too much. There we go. That's that part of the grant. I just need to set up one more dog patrol. Generally, anywhere that you're going to have lots of inmates, you're going to want dogs searching up and down. A little bit later, you can set them up to start patrolling like the perimeter of your prison in order to make sure that prisoners aren't tunneling because dogs can actually sniff out tunnels from beneath the crypt. Oh, this requires an entrance. Let's let's get on that. Set up a oh wrong doorway. There we go. That door's right there, and that should come to life just nicely. Now that we have these rooms set up, we can actually partition them and start setting up the showers. Also, I have an extra grant I can take on, so I want to grab that pretty soon. We've got 10 prisoners coming in the morning, so I want to make sure that this cell block is all nice and set up. So I'm just going to grab this here clone tool, snag this bit. Well, let's, let's go with something else. I think this one has a nicer layout. Let's copy that, and from there we can copy this top section here and paste it in the top because this one has slightly extra space to it, which is kind of nice, i got to admit, because this will allow us to ha hold 10 prisoners in the block, whereas these only hold 8, and so once we have these all set up, and this 10 will have a full 50 capacity prisoner, of prisoners and from there it's really easy to set things up. Ooh, do we not have this cell block open? Let's let's install the doors so that we can actually start fitting prisoners in here. Otherwise we wouldn't actually have enough to take in those extra prisoners come morning. In addition, I'm also going to want to see what grants I can take. I got the short-term investment running. That's going to take more than a day at this point, but we can start working on something else. Education takes forever and manufacturing is probably going to have to hold off for a sec, so let's get the maximum security. That'll increase our guard's effect efficacy and let's just get pretty much everything except remote access. I don't want that. 
Uh, surveillance is really nice. Prison policy will allow us to punish our prisoners based on their crime. And tasers and body armor are necessary for the grant, so I'm going to want to set all that up. Surveillance is what I want to grab first because that'll allow me to create the CCTVs and cameras that I can set up throughout the prison, but not too important just yet. Now we can set up these showers just to make sure our inmates are all nice and hygienic because if they start missing out on hygiene, they just get very violent. Not sure why, but those are the mechanics, and I think it makes sure that you're keeping your prisoners at least like human. You make sure that you're not just stripping them of their humanity and... Oh dear, let's fix that. And it keeps you focused on supplying their actual needs, like things that people need in general. Let's set up those last two shower heads, and now we can make some drains. We've got a lot of cash, which is nice, so we shouldn't really need to be worrying too much. Just set up drains pretty much all across the showers, make sure that we don't have any water leaking into the rest of the prison. That creates a lot of gunk for our janitors to deal with, and we don't want to deal with that. Oh, cancel these jobs because they're never going to be able to be completed. And once we've set up these drains, let's see, what else is there? First off, we need to power this here storage. I accidentally deleted a shower head, but let's get into the utilities and make sure that's all nice and set up. And I don't think that this is going to be enough. So let's extend that, bring the power cables a little bit over so that they can be brought into the common rooms. And let's see, what else is there to be doing? This, oh, utilities, that's right. We need to start supplying piping. I don't like the idea of running piping underneath the walls because I think that that allows prisoners to have a bit too easy of a time escaping through them. So I like to actually just run them down the middle and occasionally run them down the center of the cell blocks if need be, but I don't think that's going to be too big of an issue, so let's just set this up. Oh, I didn't need to run this piping. I didn't realize that those already had their utilities covered, so... Let's just extend those right along. And we can actually set up these showers really nicely because we've got the piping for it already in place. So just drag this all over the place. Make sure that it's got multiple sources just in case something goes wrong. I don't actually foresee anything bad happening, but better safe than sorry. There we go. That should take care of those. And that should be enough shower blocks for us. I think that we can actually get most of this piping completed before morning, but I'm not going to designate these as showers just yet, just in case, because if we don't, and people actually head to them for showers while they're not actually usable, the prisoners won't actually wash themselves, so I want to make sure that that doesn't happen. However, we also... Did, did the walls not populate there? I don't know what's up with that. Let's, let's finish off these walls and we have some flooring to lay down. And in fact, more than flooring, we actually have a yard that's gonna be sticking with us for quite some time, so we can actually set that up as well. Get that. Set the mosaic floors all the way down the hall. I don't know what's going wrong here. Seems to be water, but I'm not sure what its source is. Set the mosaic flooring, and now we can start working on our yard here. Set an open path, and we're going to set up a track for our prisoners to run around. Whenever they go to the yard, this track will kind of help them remain happy and all nicey-nice. And I'm probably going to remove this yard now that we've got the big yard up and running, because that'll make sure that we have prisoners going to the yard that's going to give everybody enough room. In addition to the pathing, I'm also going to set up grass around the area. Part of it's just aesthetics, but I also suspect that it might actually affect the mechanics of, like, freedom. I'm not entirely certain, but even if it doesn't, it looks nice. And honestly, that's what I'm going to be paying for. So let's set up some asphalt for some weightlifting sections. Let's see, right here. There we go and right here. 
because while we've got people in the yard, we might as well set up weight benches for them to lift at. And you want to give them space, just again for aesthetics, because honestly that's one of the more important parts of Prison Architect that it doesn't really come across in your first few times playing, is that you want to make things look nice, because the actual mechanics of Prison Architect allow you to pretty much set up your prison really nicely most any time, but it's the idea of actually making your prison set up in such a way that it looks good as well that really infatuates me, that brings me into it. It gives it an extra level of engagement that allows you to have a whole lot of fun with it. As you can see, I just hired a bunch of those, uh, whatchamacallums, a bunch of the guards so that I could have the necessary amount for the grant, and I'm going to set up two CCTV monitors. I'm also going to set up some phone booths, some phone taps, in here because I believe that those will be very helpful in routing out some of the uh, contraband that's going to be leaking through the area. Is this still having an issue? Oh yeah, that's right. Our maintenance workers have a lot to do, so it's it may take them some time to set that up. And we do have enough capacity for the coming up prisoners, so long as they don't actually need any utilities, but... I don't know, it's getting a little dicey. I'm going to want my maintenance workers to move a little bit faster. And because we've got so much that they need doing, and we're going to be expanding so rapidly at this point, I think I'll hire a few extra just to make sure they're working at a proper clip. This outside area is probably going to... Oh dear, we have an altercation, and there was an actual death of... an inmate, so it's okay. It wasn't one of the staff. That's fine. We can move him to the morgue, and the doctor should take care of these prisoners. Sometimes you do need to set them out to actually handle the prisoners individually, but it's not too big of an issue, and doing so will make sure that you don't have any prisoners who have... Oh, come off it. There we go who have time spent untreated, which is actually a major black mark against your prison in the grading section. Uh, let's see if we can see that now. Yeah, we can't see it just yet, but for each prisoner that gets released, we get a little bit closer to that end goal of seeing how well our prison is graded. Set up a single bit of line just there, and all of these will power each other because they create a little utility line directly under themselves. Oh, we are also getting really dirty, so let's pick up a pair of janitors to sort of help fix that on up. Wow, really glad I set up that dog handler because now he's finding quite a bit of contraband. Speaking of contraband, just wanted to check my power level real quick. Let's set up some metal detectors. That will really help uh, limit some of the sort of tools and weapons that can be found around the prison and as well as setting them up here at the entrance to the prison will make sure that anything coming in through our deliveries is going to be searched right off the bat and we can make sure that nothing goes wrong there. Also want to set some up in visitation just in case any sort of family visitors are smuggling things in. However, you don't want to build too much of these because they are extremely expensive and they require their own utility line. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're setting these things up, is that you really want to be thrifty about them and really only place them in checkpoints. Like, I would consider placing them in this common room as well. Oh boy, oh, that is, that is not a good amount of prisoners coming in, so I'm just going to turn that off. The amount of prisoners that get imported each day is randomized with each day, and so if you really don't want a certain amount of prisoners, just tell them not to come and it'll be rescheduled to a new amount in the coming days. Do I have the utilities for this set up? I do. That's, that is really good to see. Anything else need direct working on? I know that my guys are... Did they not build that? Oh, I built a line right there thinking that would fix it, but I actually needed a line right here because, as you can see, the electrical point didn't build right here on this plus sign, which again is just a problem that you run into with this game. 
I hope that they fix that sometime, but this is still alpha, so I'm not necessarily expecting anything. Is that fence actually taken down? Come on, clean that up. Because I want to be building a new cell block right in here. Because once I actually get that all nice and set up, I can actually acquire the grant money for that. And before I do anything else, I'm going to want to place down a few cameras in order to pick up the max sec uh, grant. Let's have them right... No, right, not there. Here, here, and here. As well as here. I'm going to want them just at the top and bottom of each cell block to kind of make sure that my guys are being watched. Uh, let's remove the planning. I think we've got a pretty good idea of what I'm going to want, so any sort of extra planning like that is pretty superfluous. I can just copy some cell block over to this new cell block when it's complete, as well as I'm going to want a door. There we go. Set those doors up so that it has an entrance and can complete properly. Got a lot of prisoners in the yard while we're working on everything, so kind of a bit cluttered right now, but it shouldn't be too bad. Once they set up the yard, they can set up the cameras, and we should be pretty well set. What grants am I going to want next? What is even available? I'm going to hold off on the crackdown on drugs, because I like to complete that at the same time that I complete the tool cleanup, because running a few shakedowns will make absolutely certain that everybody gets taken care of and there aren't dangerous tools lying around the place. I don't know what happened here that these two sections didn't complete, but again, the utilities in this game are slightly wonky, so you really do have to... Uh, no, I want to... Is that just grass? I thought that was logs for a second. I was going to sell that off, but no matter. As soon as we hook this up, we can acquire the grant money. Oh, I need cameras. Multiples. So that just means that I get to place down one more camera because apparently we need six to get the grant where is it here we are and I'm gonna wanna place it right here beautiful once that's set up I get the grant money and I can have another check see what's going on you know considering I'm gonna get cell block B set up before I acquire tool cleanup I'm gonna have a free slot and so I could consider taking on the long-term investment because I could use the spare slot from cell block B to grab crackdown and cleanup and while that doesn't leave a lot of room for these next set that's kind of okay because most of these take a really long time to do well not so much the inmate nutrition but that's just not something I want to get involved in just yet because it really takes a toll on your prisoners so let's go with the prison menu no no what am I saying let's go with the long-term investment get that kicked off and now let's clone this last cell block and we'll be good to go place it down right here that'll make sure we have just enough cells and now it's time to connect up the rest of these cameras make sure that they're actively being monitored oh speaking of hooking up some monitoring I'm also going to set up these phone taps I want to give each one between like four to six uh, phones to keep an eye on because while they can only monitor one phone at once, they can switch back and forth between the two at a fairly nice clip. So as long as you only give them a sort of measured amount, you should be just fine. Also, we're going to set up some lighting in the yard just to make sure that it's pretty okay even at night. Let's see, any more lights? Um... No, I think that should be good. And in addition to that, we're going to want phone booths. Just check my power level real quick. Because whenever someone's in the yard, I like to have them take care of their family need with talking on the phone. It really helps keep their needs taken care of. And taking care of your prisoners' needs is the best way to keep them compliant and not killing each other like they did when they were a smidge overcrowded in the single shower. Speaking of the single shower, I need to designate these showers down here. Now they will all be used by the ones in the proper cell block. Apparently, this guy got injured 
and we didn't manage to get him healed up, so let's set that on up. As soon as these three cells complete, we're going to grab the cell block, and we can accept quite a load of new prisoners, about 16 if I'm looking correctly, yeah. And there we have it. Let's set up the utilities, and we should be pretty well to set up and leave off the episode. So get a line running down there, large pipe comes right nearby, so that's really nice. Just set up a line of piping. Anything else? No, it looks like we're doing pretty good for ourselves, so I'm going to cut it right around here. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It's been a real pleasure. I've got everything really nice and set up. Things are looking pretty okay. We're doing quite well for ourselves. We've got a yard and plenty of room for expansion. So join us next time, and we'll see where we can take this prison. Have a nice day, everybody.